Regular season coming up this week, Tibble, you guys have to be really excited. Uh, it's the first time in two years that you guys have had a normal season. Talk about uh, the team's outlook this week. Um, I mean, based off what I've heard, I mean, everyone's really excited. You know, a lot of people haven't played in upwards of two years, three years. So, I mean, I've, I mean, last year was the first time I even was able to get on the field. So, I'm super excited to be able to get back on the field. So, yeah. That's right, two plus years in the program for you, but you haven't gotten to play a conference game, a truly competitive game. You had yeah. the modified spring season. Mm -hmm. um, how excited are you personally to finally be able to wear the I'm uniform? I'm so excited. I, honestly, like, I can't really put it into words because you know, I haven't, even like when I transferred here, I hadn't even played a real game yet. So I'm really excited to get out there and play a competitive game and just show everyone what we're about. Everyone's really excited. And I think we can really make a statement this year. And yeah, I'm really excited. Three preseason games under the belt for the team. All good results. You won all three of them. A good chance to see uh, most of all the players on the team play, try some different styles. So what are your thoughts after those games? Um, I mean, based off the results, I mean, I was super happy with it. And uh, as you said, everyone was able to play. So I think it got, like, especially with the freshmen, it really helped them out, gave them some confidence because they were able to go on the field in the first two games and the last game most a lot of people played. And, um, yeah, I think it really just – the confidence in everyone going forward into the real season. Yeah. A, a long stretch of road matches to start the season. How important is team chemistry and, and how do you guys feel your chemistry is now that you've had a few weeks to bond? Um, like Tomas said, like the whole goal of preseason is, is to build alchemy and you know, like build that uh, companionship and everything. And um, I think it'll be really important going into this uh, like this trip and everything. And you talked about how excited you were to finally be on the field. What are what are some of your kind of tangible goals, both for you and, and how you'd like to help the team this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, number one goal is to win the GNAC. You know, we want to make history, like Tomas said. That's why everyone was brought here. We want to, do, we want to put MCB on the map for men's soccer. We haven't been. So I think that's my number one goal. I want to win the GNAC. You know, I want to show everyone that we have a good program. We can compete, we can win. And for my personal goals, I mean, I'll do anything to help the team, you know, on and off the field. And at the end of the day, like, it's, you want, like, we want to win, you know. That's all I want to do. Yeah, I think we're really excited. Uh, obviously, it was a positive preseason for us. Uh, I think as a coaching staff, uh, our butt is sitting between two chairs, you know. On one side, we are defensively very strong. Uh, offensively, I think we created chances, but we didn't score as many goals as we were hoping for, and, uh, and so this is where we need to do uh, better. Yeah, I think more efficiency in front of the goal will be very important against Texas and M International, Pueblo, and Colorado Springs because we probably won't create as many chances as we did during this preseason against those teams. So, you know, when we'll have a chance, we'll have to put it away. But defensively, I think we are very proud of the guys. We only concede one goal on a penalty kick. We haven't considered any goals uh, in play, so I think we, we show our strength. And uh, even though the competition will be higher this uh, upcoming week, uh, I think our guys uh, felt very confident about our defensive skills, and we have to build up on that. Yeah, of course, with the preseason, the most important thing is getting everyone on the field, learning how the team plays, but always nice when you can get three wins, and that's what you guys did. Uh, what did you see from this group? A lot of newcomers, uh, a lot of chances to try different lineups. What's your assessment after those wins? Yeah, so those three games give us the opportunity to give playing time to, to everyone. So we, we tried uh, several things, we tried different combinations, uh, and then we're not going to tell you what we're going to do for this upcoming week. But uh, it's, been, it's been positive. I think the 12 new players have melted really well uh, with our returners. I think there is a very good team chemistry right now in our group, and you know it's normal after a preseason and three wins. Uh, now playing time is going to be decreased for some players, and other is going to increase. So we'll have to manage uh, happiness and unhappiness for some players. But everybody understands that at some point they will have a role to play this season in the team. Uh, some of them will be right away this week. Others will have to play a role in October or November. So I think it's important that everybody stays on their toes, uh, be focused, understand their role, and when they come onto the field, do what they're supposed to do to help the, the team be successful. You mentioned the chemistry this team has built. How important is that going to be? I mean, you have a month of, of road games before you're going to be back here in Billings and um, a couple of them non-conference and then you'll be ready for GNAC play. How important will that chemistry be on this long stretch? Well, it's massive. You know, I think we're going to spend a lot of time together, you know, driving in the vans, in the hotel. So I think we're going to develop that team chemistry even better. But I think during this preseason, and we're going to give credits to the, to the leadership group to, uh, to organize some activities uh, together with the, with the teammates to uh, having team dinners uh, together.
together just by themselves and, and talk about the season and the goals. So I think uh, you know Brad, uh, Brian, Austin, and uh, Luca who are our, our captains. You know they've done a good job, uh, including everyone in those uh, in those meetings and making sure that no one is left out. And so it showed in the field, you know, the sacrifice and, uh, and the relationship that we see between the players. So we have to build on that once again. You know, winning always help, but the competition this week will be uh, will be even better. So we'll have to be up to the challenge. The game planning, the vision, of course, never goes beyond the next match in front of you one game at a time. But talk a little bit about the general philosophy of this team, what you hope to see out of this uh, season and how excited you are for them. Well, you know, the good thing about our school is we've never won anything. And so the guys and, and uh, as a coaching staff as well, we want to be the first team to, to win the GINA or qualify for the national tournament. That's our end goal. And there's a process that we need to follow in order to achieve those goals. And we know that the GINAC is a very competitive conference. It's going to be hard and we'll have to show up for every game. But the vision is really to, to make history in, uh, for the school and in the GINAC. And I think the guys are buying into, into what we're trying to do uh, with our style of play uh, and showing some positive sides uh, during this preseason. And hopefully we'll see it again this week.